Good evening, YouTube. Sammy the Bull here, coming from you on a Memorex video from the Sketchery, my store, my embroidery store in Newcastle, Delaware. And guess what? We're doing what we specialize in right now tonight. Big embroidered back of jackets, filled in stitching, and big block athletic rampered lettering. Check it out. A couple big varsity wool coats with big lettering on the back. This is the back. It's over 38,000 stitches. A-S-S-A-L-A-F-U-S hyphen S-A-L-I-H. Not quite sure how to say it, but you see it. 38,426 stitches. It's moving at 720 stitches a minute. Check out the pattern three fill stitch lettering. Sorry about that. Start that up again. I had a little, a little hiccup. All right, let's check that out again. On this, as you can see what it's doing now, it's called, when you do heavy fill stitch, and especially on wool like this, it's called a underlay. We're doing a contour and um, zigzag, I believe. You know, I'm not even sure. Let's check it out. Come over here. Top left on your screen where you see underlay right there. We did contour and zigzag. Okay, I was right, wasn't sure. Now you can do parallel and perpendicular, but it doesn't need all that. But usually I only go contour like that. But because of the wool, we're adding the zigzag. And that's the logo that we did on the screen. Very, look at that, it's so big. Make sure it's saved to the hard drive. Just in case they get more, I don't have to spend 30 minutes making it again. We're good. And back we go. It's moving very nice. Oh, I did another dental chair. I'm gonna check it out, you ready? Another dental chair from my, my man Charlie there. WCD White Clay Dental. Is, he does upholstery on all the dental chairs, headrests, and everything they got in dental offices. And we did another one he does he, here. Came out really, really nice. Night tight stitching. You know the deal. Let's go take a peek and see what Eric's up to. Why that's running on the jackets. Eric Cleverlang. Oh, by the way, guys, guess what Eric is signing? Since we're doing a video, it's going to upload tonight. I got, got a couple hundred for you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what's he money. got in his hand? Need some money. With, with what's going on? What's up? So here y'all, you know what I'm saying? The signature oh, going on there. Oh, yes, we added Clubber Lang to the SB7 two, notes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look yeah. at that. Ten lucky people ten are going to get notes $1, that have SB7, John the Banker, my wife Denise T, and... Eric Clubber Langwear, there it is. He got the nice metallic emerald green, Eric Clubber Langwear. I'm trying to get pop signature in the middle, guys. I'm working on it. It's not easy. Gary B is the only one to get pop signature so far, I think. And it's not easy. But I'm going to do my best, okay? I didn't even realize some of them even have a secondary signature on the back. I must have did that before. I didn't realize it. Anyway, thank you, Clubber. Appreciate it. Eric. See the Eric W. Clever Lang. Nice signature. Add that nice little spice to the SB7 notes. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Let's check out on our stitching. Running two at a time, baby. And this is a good deal. All right. I'm charging the same price. I've been charging for over 20 years. The first line in the back, big fill stitch, 30 for your top line and 20 each additional line. He's only getting one line. You know, I guess he, he, he made everything fit in one line, so he didn't have to pay for any secondary lines. So he gets the top line for $30 each, that's it. You know, I remember and even when I was a senior in high school, I was paying more than that for my varsity jackets for getting the top line, which was Overbrook. I was Overbrook Rams. And they charged me like 
I think it might have been 40 or 45 hours for the top line and like 20 or 25 hours for the bottom line on a jacket. I wound up paying like 165 hours back in the 80s. This, he supplied the jacket. I'm doing the stitching all for only $30 each. Sorry, but you, you just can't get that kind of price nowadays. You just can't do it. And I know it. And I should raise the prices. I really should. Nice and tight stitch here. You know, when you got a family business and you've been in the same location for over 34, 33 years, I think it is. Let me see. We moved in, uh, yeah, actually it might only be 32 years in this location. We were down by door six for two years. We've been here for 34 years. It's stitching really nice. Now just four letters, you're seeing four letters, just four letters in, it is already stitched 11,700 stitches. And we have to get to 38,000 for it to be done. That's our stitch count, moving along. That's where we are in the design. That's looking pretty good. It's not bad, no complaints. We'll check back on this in a minute. Uh, let's say a few minutes. Oh, the SB7 notes looking hot. Yes, they are. Another thing I want to show you guys, as this is stitching the big back, my, uh, my buddy Charlie over here that gets the dental upholstery stuff done for, you know, Bloomfield Dental, WCD, White Clay Dental. He's got a couple other ones, too. He also, he got the hats. Remember this old couch? Well, now he's getting the hoodies done. And this logo, instead of 2x2 two two on the hats, this is a 4x4, four four, over 16,000 stitches, and here it is. All stitched out, beautiful. Nice clean at the bottom. www.thisoldcouch.org, the website. It's a nice little logo for his his um his upholstery and what he does for the business. There it is. All right, after a little pause, we're back at it. It's moving along good. Yes, it is. Moving along very good. You know. Back embroidery is something that doesn't take like five minutes, eight minutes, like normal left chest does. Even with thread breaks, even ten minutes. Backs, they can run for hours, hour and a half. Usually I would say anywhere from uh, 90 minutes to even 120 minutes. You could be looking at an hour and a half to two hours for big backs. Imagine if we were doing three lines or even four lines. I The biggest logo that I can remember in the last maybe ten years is doing a, a back that was over just over 120,000 stitches. Yes. And remember, your average logos, they charge $1.50 per thousand stitches. What I usually do with people is anywhere 10,000, 15, 20,000, 25,000, you pay $1.50 per thousand. But when something gets big on the back, like what you're seeing now, I usually charge a dollar per thousand when you break the 30,000 and up mark, whether it be a picture, lettering, and then this deal, he got even a better deal than that because I only charged him 30 and look how many stitches. 38,000. Thirty-eight thousand four hundred. Technically, it should be a $38 a back if you're going by stitch count, which most people doing modern embroidery nowadays do. They just charge by the stitch count. I've been charging by the line for the last 30 years, so that's what we did. You know, maybe maybe uh, at the end of the summer, maybe like September 1st, we're going to start raising the prices. I think it's going to get to the point where we're going to start going 40 for the top line and 25 each additional line. That's what it should be. We'll see. Moving along. 
approaching the halfway mark. Maybe after this letter it'll be halfway. Yeah, pretty close. I would say after this letter we're going to be at the halfway mark. Drop a comment, guys. Drop a comment. I'm curious if anybody knows how to pronounce this and if you know what it means. I think it has something to do with Muslim. I think it has something to do with a Muslim, some Muslim saying or something. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just Muslim lettering. Could be. Anybody who's Muslim out there, check it out. Ah, Salah, Salah. Salah, right? Salih, Salah. Asa Salapis, Asa Lapis Salah. <laughs> How about that? Man, you didn't think I spoke Muslim, huh? Well, I don't. All right, we'll check back in on it in a couple minutes. Seven thirty. It's Saturday, April twenty seventh. Seven thirty at night. And I'm still working. Oh. rocking and rolling over here my friend Charlie just came up and picked up his this old couch hoodie and the uh, dental thing that was sitting here guys yeah I got some jeans I'm carrying look old navy brand new with tags got some jeans I'm carrying I didn't get a chance to get them out yet what do we got is there a price tag on these I don't even know what they retail at I'm gonna check it out I was just gonna sell them for 10 bucks a jean you know we're in the farmer's market come on you know everybody wants to for a dollar two dollars all right, but anyway, he picked up his stuff. He loved it. Very nice guy. He gave me a tip. Very nice guy. He even offered for me to go on location maybe and shoot a commercial and shoot a video and advertise his This Old Couch website and what he does. And he offered to pay me for it, but he's such a nice guy, I'm not going to charge him. I'll plug his business, This Old Couch. You saw it, www.thisoldcouch.org. Any type of upholstery or fixing or anything you need, you know, a lot of times if you have a business and whether it be tattoo parlors and dental, dentists, doctor's offices, any of the headrests and chairs and benches or like little beds, your chiropractic office is where I do chiropractor and uh, even psychologists, you got to see the psych, they sit you on a couch. Well, a lot of these couches now, a lot of these businesses, they want to advertise their business. Doctors, dentists, psychiatrists. Well, this is what he does. He'll upholsterize anything, and I'll stitch the, letter, the logo on it. Amazing. You don't see that anywhere, guys. When you go to your dentist, you let me know if you see his dental chairs actually have embroidered on the headrest and where you sit at the dental logo, the logo for that dentist. I doubt it. I very highly doubt it. It's something that we're starting the last month or two, and it's working up. It's pretty much fire. All right, we're moving. Going to close out this video. Moving really nice, though. Let's get another shot real close of what I call Pattern 3 Fill Stitch. I have another fill stitch, it's called snake skin. And this almost looks like snake skin. It almost does look like snake skin, but it's not. Beautiful stitching. Nice pattern, look at that pattern.
There goes your trim. Nice little trim. It's going to come in here with our last hyphen. Now we're starting our last word, guys. We're moving and grooving, baby. Moving and grooving. We are now over 25,000 stitches complete out of 38,000. 13 more thousand stitches and we are done. Pretty, pretty much like 14,000 now. We're going, man. I would say it's got about a good solid 10 minutes left, 10, 15 minutes. We'll check on it. And another couple minutes, guys. One second to use. Ten minutes to me. Okay, after a short little intermission, we're back. I got some airbrushing to show you right before the embroidery I'm doing over there gets done. I thought it was like bull, like for Sammy the bull, but I'm wrong. It's big bullshit. For the Taurus. For the Taurus, yeah. I didn't know if it was Sammy bullshit, maybe, but no, we can't have none of that. No, Sammy, Sammy bullshit. bullshit nice little artwork Eric did right there with the bull. I like that. He, I think you need to airbrush me a shirt, Eric. That's a good, I like that logo. Something with like that brush script SB7. I'm gonna have to work on that. Look at I know we had we had uh, Richie. Ah, there we go. We, we had Richie Rich. Richie Rich did my plate. Oh, the air air blaster himself. Oh, holy bat utility belts, Batman Richie Rich. There's a name for you. We'll keep it at that. Anyway. Um, Carol, here we go. There's Carol. Look at the glitter, man. Look at that glitter. Look at it, guys. Oh, Eric, it really shows up good here. Look at that glitter. Wow. And for the small price of a hundred hours, that can be yours too. How much is that anyway, really? How much is that for something just like that uh, on the back of the jeans? Sixty dollars, guys. That's it. They supplied the jeans. Eric hooked up all the glitter spray. Did the glitter. He did the pearls. Look at the pearls around it. Oh, nice artwork. That's right across the ass. And let's take a look at this nice transfer with the collage. Back door, biggie, boom. There you go. Maybe in a more memorial RIP. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Of this young gentleman right here. Nice transfer. I printed it out. He pressed it on and airbrushed around it. There you go. It's like a nice little jumpsuit for a girl, I guess. Very nice. Got some hats that people are getting ready to do. Some airbrushing going on hats. Got the big D. Lucky O would like that. Her Dallas. But the Eagles are in front. Boom. There you go. All right. Getting ready to close this out. Let's go take a last look. Is this something? Is this an order right here? Oh, Salisbury University. Salisbury. Oh, it's a transfer. Uh, I got you. We need a better picture. Okay. I need more security shirts, man. There's an event going on in Delaware. All my security shirts are sold out. I had a lot of people come in today for security shirts. I'm out of small, medium, large. Oh. Yeah, I got to get my screener for that. Good luck. It's going to probably take me another two weeks. All right, where are we at? After this, two letters left. Okay. Look at that.
Asalapis Salah, I think. If anybody knows the pronunciation of that, drop a comment. Let me know. I'm curious. And if you if we can verify that it is Muslim, I think it is, because I know the guy that it's for, and he's Muslim, guy named Sal. He's got a nice little uh, logo and like little clothing line that he does for Humble Brother. Look him up. Humble Brother. All right, two last letters, an I and an H. I wish I could tell you it would be done in a minute or two, but it's not. These two letters could take 10 more minutes. So I'll be back. Look at that pattern, how nice, very nice pattern. This stitching I call is bulletproof. You're not gonna have any uh, any fraying, any loose stitches coming apart, not on this. That happens on satin stitching, not complex fill, and especially not pattern three. Almost is a almost has like a corn roll effect in the stitching. He's getting fifty dollar embroidery for thirty dollars. You better believe it. You know what? We might as well keep it on, guys. Shit. We got one letter to do. One letter. The last letter. Getting ready to do after this. We might as well hang in there for the last letter. We're going to make it a 20, probably a 25-minute video. That's all right. This is it. Starting the last letter. We didn't have one thread break. Knock on wood. Not one thread break on this design. I might have stopped the machine two or three times to do a little trim, and that's it. I didn't have to do that. Maybe two, three minutes left if it runs smoothly. There's your underlay. That's your zigzag. What you see on this side, guys, that's your contour. Contour, and of course I hit the uh, sensor. Contour underlay, and that's your zigzag real close. Get that little off of there, little build up. That's only a sensor, it's not a thread break. I hit the sensor. You're getting a too close, a too close to the machine. Sammy Stitches in the house. How's that? That used to be my nickname before Sammy the Bull. Sammy Stitches. Did I ever show everybody this picture? I don't know if I did. A picture of me, my dad, and from the 70s, Mayor Frank Rizzo. Mike Reno, 1978, a photographer from the South Philly Review. Look at this. That's me with the Italian hat on. And there's Rizzo. Frank Rizzo, my dad next to Rizzo. And that's his friend with his son. I don't know who they are. That is my dad. That is Mayor Frank Rizzo passed years ago. And me. From 1978, the Italian Festival in South Philadelphia on 9th Street, the Italian Market. This was on the front page of the South Philly Review 
in 1978, photographer Mike Reno. Mike Reno. He was a big photographer for the South Philly Review back in the 70s. There you go. Screenshot that. That's a classic right there, guys. Young little baby Sammy the Bull. Boom. And I got a picture of young Gianna with me. Old picture too, about maybe 10 years old. And then we got one of my mom. My mom right there, she used to be a waitress. This is back in 71. H, H -A w H Winston's, I believe. Let's see if I can get it. Let's see here. Hold on. There we go. Oh, no. Sammy drops. That's a young picture of my mom when she was only about 21 years old. Black, jet black hair, wearing a jumper. That was the bartender at H.A. Winston's down on Front and South Street in South Philadelphia. Keep that there since she passed. This is the classic, though, right here of me and Rizzo. My dad's no longer here. He passed ten, about nine years ago. All right, we're getting ready to be done. Took a little trip down memory lane there. Finishing up the H, guys, and we're at where history. Done for the night. It's 8 o'clock Saturday night, April 27th, 2024. We're gonna make, hopefully make this under 30 minutes, this video. A little stitching for use. Coming to you on location from my store, the Sketchery in Newcastle, Delaware. It's on Route 13, guys. Route 13, right across from the Newcastle County Airport. We're at the Newcastle County Farmers Market, entrance number five. We're right across from the candy store, the candy, candy and nut depot. I think it's called Nut and Candy Depot. That's it. Nice little lock stitch. Bam, and here you go. One. Blow it back out. Two. There they are, guys officially complete take a nice little look at that look at that bill stitch pattern beautiful second one beautiful boom don't forget guys show your love and support for the channel and for our beautiful sp7 nation community hit that thumbs up all right Hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys. Not just on the flip side, but I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take it easy. Have a good night. God bless you.